You know, it's great to be back on my podcast and uh, to be talking to you again today. So today uh, marks the end of the year. Um, I'm uh, producing this particular podcast on the 31st of uh, December at uh, just coming up to uh, six o'clock, 20 to six right now. Um, it's also not only the end of the year, but it's actually the end of the decade. So we've got a whole new decade to look forward to. And uh, the question is, I suppose, is what are you going to do to make this year, this decade, this month or next month uh, better than the last one? Because, you know, I think in life we're either growing or dying. We're either getting better or worse. Nature just very rarely stays still. And uh, so is that true with business. So if that's the case, uh, my question is, uh, really, uh, we all hear a lot about, you know, uh, uh, developing our business and, you know, that People who set goals are more successful than people that don't. So what are you doing about your goal setting? Uh, What are your goals for 2020? If you've not done them, then your number one action might be either tonight or perhaps tomorrow to go and set some goals, set some financial goals. How much do you want to grow your business? How much do you want to increase your profit? How many leads do you need in order to achieve that? How many uh, LinkedIn contacts are you going to talk to or people you're going to get to visit your website and so on and so forth? And once you know that, then um, the question is, uh, really, what are you going to do in terms of planning uh, to achieve the goals that you've set? And, uh, you know, that's really... You know, a, a goal is really just a daydream. A lot of people have goals. You know, I'd like to, you know, have a house in the south of France or a boat, you know, in the Caribbean or, you know, I want to go to wherever it is in the world. But we don't really ever, it's more of a daydream. You know, i am not actually got a plan in order to achieve that. And so it's not really a goal. It is more of a, j- a daydream. I often joke, you know, that this time next year we'll be millionaires. And I don't really joke it. I, I say it because obviously it was made famous by Del Boy and uh, Only Fools and Horses fame. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it is, it is an aim, you know, and uh, so uh, if that is an aim, then, you know, this time... Uh, next year, if I uh, achieve my goal, I'd be, you know, it'd be fantastic uh, for my, for me, my family, my friends, and so on and so forth. And so, why not set a big goal like that, and uh, and then put a plan in place to to actually achieve it? So I, I know that's certainly what I'm going to do and what I'm aiming to do um, over the next 12 months. So that being the case, um, I've got another question for you. And this is a really, really cool question. I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine that, uh, you could hire, I don't know, a leading expert either in your industry or in the world, you know, an expert, in business, you know, in the UK, it might be someone like Richard Branson, or perhaps one of the dragons off Dragon's Den. Or it could be that you hire somebody who is like the leading expert in your industry. You know, in my industry, which I loosely call the the helping industry, you know, people in my industry are people like consultants and coaches and advisors and trainers and people like that. The leading expert in that industry, I'd, I'd probably say, is Tony Robbins. Now, Robbins runs a business that I believe turns over a couple of billion. That's with a B. And so I wonder whether Tony would be more successful than me at running my business over the next year. Now, you could say, well, of course he would, Steve, because he's got billions in the, or at least many millions in the bank, and he'd, you know, spend a load of money and bring a load of staff in and so on and so forth. So let's think about restricting Tony. Let's say to Tony, you know, Tony, you can't use your money, uh, you can't use your contacts, and uh, importantly, you can't use your name, because Tony's pretty much famous all over the world. 
would he still be more successful than me? And my belief is, yeah, absolutely he would. You know, he's done it many, many times, produced this amazing business, and I think he would be more successful than me. So now, here's the question. Why? Why would Tony Robbins or a Richard Branson or whoever you are thinking of right now as your sort of, I suppose, icon business person, why would they be more successful than you? And importantly, what would they do differently? And what I'm suggesting is, you know, when you get back to work and get, you know, back working again, just spend a few minutes sitting down with your team answering that question. You know, if we hired Richard Branson to come in and run the business over the tech next 12 months, would he be more successful? The answer is probably yes. So if that's the case, what would he do different to what we're doing? And uh, that, for me, I think is one of the most powerful questions that you could ask yourself right now in your business. So I hope that was of value to you. I really believe it was. But like all things, it's only of value if you do something with it. So please get yourself out there, go and do something with it and really, you know, use it to develop uh, your business. And uh, obviously, if you want help from me, if you want me to work in your business for you, uh, I may not be a Richard Branson, but I have spent 25 years working with thousands of businesses in hundreds of industries and helping them make literally millions upon millions of extra unforeseen uh, pounds uh, and dollars. And uh, so if you want to know more from me, uh, simply go to my website, which is www.stevemills.co. And uh, all you need to do there is to set up what I call the results meeting. And this is all about uh, how to uh, look at your results, what results you're currently getting, uh, get an understanding of what you want to do uh, in order to improve your results. In other words, what results you want. And then we'll start the process of putting a plan together to achieve those results. And if at the end of the meeting you think, yep, I'd like to work with Steve, and I think, yeah, I'd like to work with you, and then great. And if not, then at least you've benefited uh, by uh, some of my uh, ideas. So that's all you need to do. Uh, there's no hard sell. There's no you know, uh, twisting your arm or anything like that. All I'm going to do is demonstrate my expertise, give you some great ideas to grow your business. And then if you want more, you just need to speak to me. Thank you ever so much for listening. And I look forward to speaking to you again on my next podcast in 2020. Thank you. Oh, happy new year. Thank you very much. Bye.